Hey, what is going on guys? So you just got the Google Chromecast third generation and I'm gonna show you how to hook this up very, very quickly on an iPhone as well as an Android phone. Now the first thing that I wanna mention is you can set this up and use this not only on a TV, doesn't matter if it's a smart TV or a non-smart TV. You may wanna use this on a smart TV even though it has the same capabilities. The thing is a lot of the smart TVs do have issues when you're casting. I have a lot of Samsung smart TVs in my house and all of them, I do replace them with the Google Chromecast because it's just much more stable. Anyways, you can hook this up and use this not only on a smart TV or a non-smart TV. This is an old TV here. This is a Sony non-smart TV. I think I got this back in like 2009 or something like that. It's only 720p. Anyways, any other device that has an HDMI port, for instance, if you have a regular computer monitor to HDMI port, you can hook this up and use it. The same thing, even if you have like a projector, as long as it has a HDMI port, you'll be able to hook up the Chromecast dongle right into the HDMI port and use this device as well. It doesn't matter, I even have like a little tiny portable projector here with an HDMI port and the Chromecast will still work on this one as well. So let's go ahead and get started and hook this bad boy up. So starting off here is the Google Chromecast third generation box here. And right out of the box, basically what you'll get is the Chromecast itself, a wall adapter, and a charging cable. First thing you wanna do is go ahead and plug the charging cable into your Chromecast, and it connects by micro USB port. So go ahead and connect this right into here. And this other side here is an HDMI port that we're going to hook up to a monitor or a computer monitor or projector or TV. I'm going to do it on my TV. Another important thing I want to note that if you look on the Chromecast itself, there's one button on here. This is a reset button here. Basically, you can factory reset your Chromecast if you have issues or you want to sell it or whatnot. You would have to plug this in, give it power, and hold it down for 10 seconds. And then after about one minute, it'll do a factory reset as if you just bought it and took it out of the box. Now here's the wall adapter. Now the thing is, if you have a USB port on the back of your TV, then you basically don't need to use this because the only thing this is for is just to give it power. I have a open USB port on the back of my TV, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. So let's go ahead and plug this in. So on the side of my TV here, we have uh, three HDMI ports here and one USB. Now another thing that's cool about this TV is if you look on the very back here, I do have an additional HDMI port and another USB port on the back here as well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and hook it up to one of these. So for the HDMI, I'm just gonna go ahead and guess one. We'll just go with the bottom one here. Pop that in. Let me go ahead and grab my USB here and I'm gonna pop it in right into the top, just like that. Now I'm gonna grab my remote control here. I'm gonna power my TV on. All right, so the first thing I need to do is make sure that it's on the correct HDMI port where the Google Chromecast is plugged in. So go ahead and grab your remote, or if you don't have a remote, go to the controls somewhere on your TV, and you wanna go ahead and click on input or source. On this, on this remote here, it says input, so hit input. Okay, so the only highlighted HDMI port that I have is number four, so obviously that is where my Google Chromecast is. Let me go ahead and go down here and press on enter. And this is the beginning screen that you get here. Okay, so the next thing you wanna do is go to your iPhone or your Android phone and we need to download the Google Home app. Now take note, the main reason why we wanna go ahead and download the Google Home app on one of these phones, it doesn't matter, is basically so that you can give the Google Chromecast an internet connection, a Wi-Fi network internet connection. Once you do that once, for instance, let's just say we just go ahead and download Google Chrome just on my iPhone. And then once we set it up and the Google Chromecast has internet Wi-Fi, the thing is, any other device that you have, any other cell phone or iPad or tablet, or if somebody comes over to your house, as long as they are hooked up to your Wi-Fi home network, they're gonna be able to cast like YouTube videos, Netflix, Google Photos, whatnot. Now one very, very important thing that I wanna mention is between an Android phone and an iPhone. The thing is, with both of these phones, you will be able to cast. However, if you want to be able to screen mirror basically everything that's on your phone, like your photos and videos that are stored locally, if you wanted to bring up your email app onto the TV and stuff like that, that would require a screen mirror, and you can only do that with Android phones. You cannot do that with an iPhone. 
Okay, so moving on. First thing we want to do is go ahead and download and install the Google Home app. For an Android phone, you simply go to your Play Store here. For your iPhone, you go into your App Store right here. Then we do a search for Google Home right here. Tap on that. Here it is. I'm going to go ahead and click on Install. And this, it's the same thing for both phones. So I'm just going to go ahead and start working with my Android here. Okay, it is installed. Let me go ahead and click on Open. Get started. I'll go with this email address here, click on OK, click on Next, going to click on Dismiss here, we don't need that stuff. Alright, so right from here we want to go ahead and tap on Add, Set Up Device, and we're going to go with New Devices here, Set Up New Devices in Your Home. Tap on that, I'm going to leave it up here, I'm going to go ahead and click on Next, click on Next again. Now we're searching for devices and we're waiting for it to find my Google Chromecast, which you see on the TV here. Okay, it says Chromecast found. It says, would you like to set up Chromecast 4008? That's perfect because you look on the bottom right hand corner there, you see that Chromecast 4008. That's exactly what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. Connecting to Chromecast. All right, and now it gave me a number on my TV there. Give that a second to find it. Okay, it says connect it, and it says, and it says, see the code on your TV, seeing R8S6. Do I see it? Yep, right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. And, and from here, you can click no thanks or yes, I'm in. I'll just click yes, I'm in. Where is device? Well, for me, it is in my office. So I'll go ahead and go down and select office. Click on next. Choose my home Wi-Fi network that I wanted to connect to, which is right here, which is already connected right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on next. And sure, I'll go ahead and click. I'll OK that as well. Give this a second now and we can see what the screen is doing. My TV is doing. It says Chromecast is now connecting to my network name. Okay, I'll go ahead and click on Next. Now it says All Done. Here's a review of what you have set up. Right here, I'll go ahead and click on Continue. Office TV is now ready. So let me go ahead and click on Continue and I'll show you some examples here, okay? so. Now the thing is, there's hundreds and hundreds of apps that you can go ahead and cast to your TV from your phone to your TV. For instance, YouTube, Netflix, Google Play Music. That'll be great, Google Play Music, if you have like a sound bar or some kind of sound system hooked up to your TV. Let's just do this. Let's go ahead and go to a YouTube video here. Now the thing that I want to know, we're going to YouTube, we're going to go ahead and cast this onto my TV. The thing is, because the Google Chromecast is now connected to my office Wi-Fi here, I can go ahead and use my iPhone or my friend can come over with any of their phones or devices and they'll be able to cast onto my TV as well as long as they're hooked up to my office Wi-Fi network. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and play one of my videos so I don't get no copyright strike. Let me go ahead and click on this video here. Now the thing is, once you do this, what you need to do is click on the casting icon. What is that? If you look on the top right hand side, you see that little square TV thing? That's the casting icon. Same thing if you open up other apps and stuff like that, like Netflix or Google Music or whatnot. You basically just want to look for this casting icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. As soon as I click on that, oops, it says connecting to Office TV. Give it a second here. Now the sound and everything is going to come directly from the TV, not from my phone. But you can also increase and decrease the volume directly from your phone. Again, the sound is going to come out of your TV. And this is what the phone looks like when I'm actually casting it, okay? So what's cool is now is I can have this run in the background because I'm casting it. I can go ahead and do other things on my phone now. I can make a phone call. I can send text messages. I can go ahead and turn my screen off, everything, while this is still playing in the background, which is pretty cool. And that's what casting is. Now the thing is, like I mentioned earlier in the video, there's casting and there's screen mirroring. If you want to screen mirror, you can only do it with an Android. You're not going to be able to do it with an iPhone. So for example, let me go ahead and screen mirror something here, okay? 
let me show you really quickly how to disconnect when you're casting. So I'm casting from uh, a YouTube video here. So to disconnect, I simply tap on the casting icon again, just like that. And then right down here, it says stop casting. Tap on that, and it's going to go ahead and shut off. Now let me show you how to go ahead and screen mirror on an Android phone. So first thing we need to do is go into your Google Home app here. So go into your Google Home app. Mine's right here. And then from here, you want to go to settings. Bottom right-hand side, this little icon with the person on it, tap on that. And then scroll down and look under additional and see mirror device. Tap on that. This is perfectly fine. Just click on OK. And then cast to Office TV. Yep, I'll go ahead and tap on that. Give that a second here. And now you can see everything that is on my phone, everything that I'm doing right now is going to show up on my screen. Now this is great because if I want to show like my videos and photos locally from my phone, I can show everybody, my family and whatnot, all at the same time onto the big screen TV, which I cannot do on my iPhone, unless of course you're using the Google Photos app, then you will be able to do that. Anyways, because I can screen mirror here too, if I go ahead and shut my phone off, it's gonna do the same thing to the TV, it's not the same thing as casting. So let me go ahead and go back in here. So even if I'm playing games and stuff like that, it's gonna show up on the big screen TV. Why don't we go ahead and pull up my camera and see what that does. So let me go ahead and pull up my camera here. And I'll give you an idea of what that looks like here. And I mean, you can browse the internet or whatever you want to do. Again, whatever you do on your phone is going to show up on the screen. Let me go ahead and turn this around and I'll show you my setup here, what I'm working with. I am recording this video with my Google Pixel 3 smartphone here. So anyways, I hope that helped you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions or anything like that, and I'll try to help you out. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.